wild turkey just about Whoa. half a mile up that road right there. We're here in Kentucky. We over here at the uh, Larkin Distillery. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Every single time. Well, I gotta look. I, I you know, you know me. Like, right here. At you know me. I gotta look. See, let's you see if we can. Let's right. see if we can find it. I don't remember the name. Larrikin. Larrikin. All right, we at the Larrikin Distillery. With uh, there's a kangaroo and a boxer. We gonna go inside here. And we gonna be doing barrel pick here soon. Checking out the kangaroo sex over there. Pervert, he misses home. <laughs> this is a veteran owned place, so. And it says it's a bloody good bourbon. Single barrel. We are dog friendly. We have a YouTube channel. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're dog friendly. Oh, what's it called? I don't want to push me to stop. Nice. We're from Colorado. We're the team. We do the barrel pick today. Oh, are you ready? I got a full blown bar back here. Look at that. Decades, ball and bone. Simple barrel. Yes, ma'am. Different batches. Tasting bar over here. Oh. Have tasting area. I like the sound of that. What's that? I like the sound of that. And they had a pour for us up there. It's a bottle and bone. Yeah, I guess they do allow bitch juice. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have us a pour of their bottle and bone. Here you are, my friends. This is our bottle and bond that we just released. So we wanted to get everybody a try of that too. And um, she's an eight-year-old. You have to be at least four years old and 100 proof. Uh, but this lady is eight years old, 100 proof, 75 percent. Very fruity on the nose. Delicious. She's slowly becoming everybody's favorite. All right. Uh, so, uh, my name's Greg. I'm the uh, owner, distiller, golf minder, golf winder, <laughs> all the things. So, uh, look, thanks so much for coming, and uh, thanks, uh, Shelby and Chris, for uh, Holly. I can't see you with the uh, thing in there. Like, uh, you look like an angel. You're right. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. look like an angel. <laughs> um, so, we're Larry Bird Company until. Uh, Friday a week ago, we were uh, Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company. Uh, we pulled all this together with hard work from everybody in eight weeks, uh, including TTV, New Zealand Lines, T-shirts, labels, the whole thing. Um, so uh, you guys are one of the, well, you're certainly the first real barrel pick in here like this, so uh, under the new label. Um, so we're really excited to hear and uh, Mm. Yeah, like right off the bat, like, I didn't even learn this chicken until recently. I've always just kind of like just went in and nosed it, and they taught us something earlier this week where it's like sniffing the bottom versus the top of the rim. Yeah. You'll get kind of heavier notes at the bottom and lighter notes at the top. I've heard of the so like drive-by with like... And smell the usual stuff, come back, like smell your hand, and then just smell right off of the top rim. Yeah, yeah. It's way different, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. You get sweeter on then more like the yeah, tobacco-y yeah. and leathery down yeah, low. Yeah. yeah. It's like off the top, you're getting a lot of like tart berry. I'll yeah. tell you what I'm getting. Graham cracker. I didn't even learn until this week. Like, I've always just well, noticed a little bit of bourbon by just going in. But if you come back and just like neutral yeah. yourself and smell just the top. My two biggest notes is pie crust and candied tobacco. Candy yeah, tobacco. I get like leathery yeah, tobacco. tobacco. It's like a candy like tobacco, 
I don't get berries. And, um, I, I get the box. Off, off the, the top berries. rim is where I got the kind of tart mixed berries. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of and I got a pie crust note on it. Too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is weird. Yeah, it starts off a little sweet, kind of darker sweet, almost like a maple syrup or molasses. It's a yeah. short, it's a short kind of flavor burst, though, because it goes right into that warmth. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. get a long, a long finish at all. No, it kind of coats your mouth. I get yep. like a little bit of high ride. It's like really hanging out on the side of my tongue. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's nice. It's good hug, though. It's quite nice. Yeah. One thing you see with our whiskey is none of it burns when it goes in. No. Yeah. The, yeah. the chocolate note on this. Okay. So, yeah. so far, the only critique I have like on milk chocolate. is the medium to short finish. Yeah. I like the punch of sweet, and I like the build up of the rye, yeah. and the earthier, darker notes with the tobacco, rather. If you like the punch of sweet, put the nose on two. On two? Yeah. Like creme brulee, banana bread, like. <laughs> yeah. It's like a light, like kind of white sugar, sweet type of not, not anything that'd be like a dark. Yeah, not the molasses. Not the molasses. This is going to be tough, man. I can already tell these are very similar. It's just a matter of red apple. Yeah, kind of a lighter, lighter sweet fruit. Yeah. Definitely a little tobacco. Mm -hmm. Two versus three, a little similar. Two's got a little more spice on the finish. Yeah, they're different in the overall experience. For, oh. for me, I'm edging one out a little over two at the moment, but I'm going to come back to it. And yeah. Yeah, like with one, the way I felt the experience was is that you immediately start punching up with flavor. You go zero to 100 a and taper. Yep. All the way to a finish. Yep. This, I felt like just sipping it, it was like real kind of sweet. And then we amped up into the rye and we set it up. I got real earthy with this one. Yeah. Real sweet with this one. This is kind of a mix of the two. Yep. And then this better be it. Oh, this this really smells good. There are no. I think three would go for like two people. Like you like more of the earthy, I like more of the sweet. I think that's fair. So this would be. So the original. I think I like. That, that would fit both of us. I like two better. Yes, I do too. But I could probably sell three a little bit. No. Like chocolate chip cookies. To be fair, right? I mean, it's like butter toffee. Yep. I got. English toffee. Butter toffee, exactly. English toffee. Say, hey, like a Heath bar. You said chocolate chip cookie, bro. Yep. The Heath bar is it. Like toffee, chocolate. Man, it smells fucking good, dude. Yes, it is. It is. This is comparable to one for me, so now I gotta reassess everything because I was leaning towards these two. Let's see how we go. That one hits like one, but almost tastes like. Mm. Four, dude, with that finish. The finish is what solidified that for me. Four is the winner. You get like chocolate and toffee up front. Yep. Uh -huh. A little bit of caramel in the, in the right in the middle, and then that like long like like snicker noodle almost finish. Like, dude, those are great notes. I hope I get them too. <laughs> I hope that's exactly what I get when I get there. Maybe I'm just uh, thinking about no. putting his favorite cookies. I, <laughs> I was getting a churro note. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's it. Yeah, like the fried cinnamon from a churro. Yep. Oh man, that is freaking outrageously good, dude. I think I think that may have come to my. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, you you, you got to narrow it down to two, right? Yeah. So. You just try four. I do, I do like the experience of two, it would just being a gentle ride, I feel like that would yeah. interest yeah. a lot of customers, but my personal palate fucking hit me with the flavor. Yeah, that's, and, that, and that's what I, I was, the wait, that. Four. Hmm? Four. Just double checking, because every table is in a different place. So, anywho. So, same Nashville, same age, 119.9. So, it is the lowest proof wow. on the table. That's crazy. See? Great, though. Proof doesn't always mean everything. It but it hits you like the first one right off that first Absolutely. Page. 
Yep. That's what I love about blinds. You know, yeah. if you really, if you don't know what you're drinking, you're left up to your senses, and that's it. What are you thinking? Huh? What are you thinking? One four. One, one four. He likes that grainy stuff. <laughs> I myself, I'm gonna go with two and four. It's like a mix of kind of almost like brown sugar and all spice on the nose, a little yeasty. I'm getting the yeast definitely getting the yeast. Kind of yeasty, white sugar, all spice. It's kind of like a, if a coffee cake was made with like a brown sugar, like a little fucking coffee cake oh, from the gas station. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Like that yeasty, that's what that's like. It just didn't have any brown sugar or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All day long. I grew up in college. Oh, yeah. But anyway, they didn't have any. They'll probably have plenty of that when we'll bring it out tomorrow. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet balance of bacon spices. Definitely get the allspice on it. And you get that initial punch right there in the front. A lingering finish, too. Oily as hell, too. Just coat my mouth, even like the top of my palate. Yep. That's good shit. That's a good way to say it. it's good shit.